Ever since last year's Genji Drills video exploded, I wanted to revisit the workshop to find more awesome codes to showcase and help other players hone their skills at the Cyborg Ninja, so let's jump right into it. First, head to the Game Browser tab and select Create. From there, go into the Settings, press Import Code right below Summary. Type the code for the desired workshop and you are ready to go! For this one specifically, I highly recommend going into the workshop settings and changing the bot respawn time from 0.1 to 0.25 before starting the game mode. Let's begin with the most used workshop code by Genji Mains, DMGRE. It has a bunch of customization options, but I prefer to always practice with permanent nano values. In this playground, speed and style are the best things to work on. The 9 bots can be used to warm up on, but they really shine when used to chain together nanoblade kills, as their positioning is perfect to choose your own path from one target to the other. Improve your sushi making skills and get that blood pumping before or during queue to see the best results in game. For those looking for an extra challenge, you can also toggle transcendence healing to practice bursting through it consistently, which can be very helpful at winning key team fights in a match as most players act like they're immortal inside Zenzolt, and will be free picks for an experienced Genji. Also, I challenge all viewers to attempt getting all 9 bots in a single Nanoblade, with the same path I used in the following attempt. If you think you can do it, feel free to join the Cool Kids Club by posting a video of a successful run on my Discord. Or, you know, hang out with the community and ask questions, we will be more than happy to help. Alright, the next code is 7A9ZH, which is a very simple yet useful workshop. Simply dash a red orb to get a reset, dash the next one and reach for the sky. This will test your spatial awareness, speed and precision, three very important skills for any Genji player to master. Up next is XQA5B, the most flexible code on the list. Press your interact key on the orbs to change the settings for each drill. To start, some ghost dash practice. Activate 180 mode and set your damage to 400%, then head to the bots at the center of the map and go crazy. The stats in the top left are very useful to track your improvement across training sessions, top one being the angle difference between your last two dashes, so the closer to 180 degrees, the better. And the bottom one is the average amount of degrees your dashes are off perfect 180s, so the smaller the number, the more consistent and precise your flicks are. After that, you can go back to normal mode, lower your damage to 100%, toggle strafe on and increase the amount of bots to 6. This is a mid-fight drill, so mix in poking, dashes, close range flicks and burst combos, that kind of stuff. Even though the bots won't fight back, you should try to execute kills as fast as possible after dashing, as overthinking your welcome in a real situation can be a death sentence. When that becomes boring, swap the damage back to 400%, toggle strafe off and have fun with some freestyle ghost dashing, which will put your reflexes, precision and spatial awareness to the test as you attempt to chain a lot of kills without stopping. Last but not least, change the damage to 150% and alternate between performing fast nanoblades and improving your APM by farming your ult as fast as possible. It's important to note that precision is better than speed, so make sure you're hitting your shots before slowly speeding up to push your limits. To finish things off, two matchup specific codes. If you are struggling against Fera, try out Ajera, which is basically an upgraded practice range with many features, but we are gonna focus solely on our anti-air skills. Press your interact key on the yellow orb to get a permanent mercy pocket, then activate the Fera plus Mercy combo to start this drill. Try to get used to their hitboxes and how to control your crosshair while simultaneously 
managing airtime to make aiming at those pesky mosquitoes a little easier on yourself. You can also test your blade skills, but be aware that with the latest balance patch nerfing the swing damage to 110, Slash plus dash will only one shot a pharaoh with a mercy pocket if you do a perfect animation cancel, similar to how transcendence works in countering blade. So the best way to be successful when attempting this anti-air blade is to target the mercy first or setting yourself up to swing the pharaoh twice. Now for those who can't hit Baptiste when he's jumping up to 9.1 meters into the air, check out KK49M to become a pro at snapping players locked into a predictable trajectory. Reduce the distance between you and your targets by pressing your primary fire key on the green orb until it says 5, then stand at the edge so that you are in dash range of the enemies and start practicing. Since your damage is too low at this range to snipe someone during a single arc, the trick is to poke them down a bit before going for the kill with a dash right click melee combo dealing 167 damage, catching your enemies off guard and executing them before they receive any help. Before you go, I just wanted to say that if any of the codes aren't working anymore, check the pinned comments for updated ones. If those aren't working either, reply to that same comments with the workshops that need a new code so I can generate one to replace the old version. See ya!